conversation brought to you by White House Custom Color. I'm Jed Toffer, and today I'm speaking with wedding photographer phenom Steve and Jane Pilkerton from the D.C. area. Yes? Yes, yes that's right. How are you guys doing? doing? Doing great. Yeah, thanks for having us. We thanks appreciate for, it. Thanks Thank for you. joining me on this beautiful February day in Las Vegas. We have a really nice view here in our room for WPPI 2018. Have you guys been enjoying yourselves? Yes. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Lots of fun. <laughs> have you, you've been to a lot of these, a lot of WPPIs, am I right? Um, this is our third one. Third one, okay. Yes. Um, yeah. So it's been great so far. Like you said, the, the weather, well, at least the view from this room <laughs> is fantastic. But if you step outside, I think it's going to be actually pretty cold. Is it chilly? <laughs> it is. It's actually chillier than uh, it's ever been uh, I will be holed up in my room like the whole time I'm here, so I'll, I'll be seeing it, but I won't be experiencing it very much, certainly not during the day. <laughs> the palm trees at least make it look warm. Yeah, yeah it does. It looks, <laughs> yes. it looks very nice outside. How, tell, tell me a little bit about you guys. Who, who are Steve and Jane? Uh, well, we're wedding and portrait photographers based out of Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. um, we work together, so we're a husband and wife team. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I say we work together, we literally sit in the office all day, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends, you know, we're working together as a team, you know, shooting weddings. All the time. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, Jane loves it. It's great. <laughs> she is smiling He's and easy laughing. to work with. He's easy to work with most so of the time. So she says on the podcast. <laughs> so I know our topic is, I know our topic, we're going to talk about wedding shows. But being, I was saying this to you before we actually started recording, being part of a husband wife team myself and sharing a home office as well. I I can't help but have a hundred thousand questions or so for you guys on what it's like to cuz and in in your and you're working together more than what we currently are. But we used to be there, you know, where, okay. where we were I was shooting weddings with my wife um and more involved in in her business. Um so I remember it. Um <laughs> But I'll tell you something. We were part of a panel once of husband-wife teams, and I want to know what your perspective is on this. So that's okay. why that's why I'm going. This is way off script. Okay. All right. <laughs> so actually, I'm, Jane. So like, explain like working with me. Like, go ahead. I'll let you take this one. Working with you, I think. Well, I think we work really well together. It's funny. Our our styles are similar, but then on a wedding day. We're very good at reading each other's minds and where his strengths are. They really complement my strengths. I'm the one that has the timeline memorized. Very true. I do the wedding questionnaire. I know the names of everybody. Okay. Like that's my strength. And so I keep us on task and, uh, yeah, she's definitely, she has like the calendar, like <laughs> literally we have weddings booked for this coming year yeah. and we get inquiries, you know, a lot. And I never remember like what dates were booked <laughs> and which ones were not. And literally I just turn to Jane and be like, September 18th, are we booked? She'd be like, yes, Yes, we are. But across. actually, we're not. See, yeah. exactly. That's See, I told awesome. you she can do it. That is perfect. <laughs> I just watched it happen in yeah. real time. Yep. That's, That's actually how we got started in wedding photography. Um, I kind of was a hobbyist photographer. I came home with yeah. like a DSLR one day. Yeah. And um, no desire to be a professional photographer whatsoever. So just started playing around with the camera, learning. If anybody's out there has a DSLR, eventually they'll learn somebody's going to ask you to shoot a wedding, <laughs> even if you don't want to. You that's have a big, true. You have a big camera. You, yeah. you must be able to shoot a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we that's had what a, happened to us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we had a friend that, uh, ask us to shoot their wedding, and initially we're like, no, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she didn't have a budget at all, though, and we had done some free photos for her, and she loved them. So we were like, okay, I'm pretty confident we won't ruin her wedding. Right. Whereas if she does nice. pay somebody, there's a good chance they will. Right. Um, right. So <laughs> so we're, we, we reluctantly said yes yeah. um, and shot the wedding. And then afterwards, we kind of looked at each other and we we're like, you know what? That was actually a lot of fun. And yeah. we actually, as a husband and wife, worked really well together. Right. And we didn't ruin the wedding. And we didn't ruin <laughs> no, the wedding. Oh, yeah. Bonus. So the, yeah. the ability actually for us to be able to work together and recognizing that, we were like, hey, you know what? We, should, we, we enjoyed it so much. Let's go ahead and do this as a business. And then from there, we just... Started and this has it. been yeah. what ten? Has it been ten years? Did I see that somewhere? Six or? years. Six years. What was the? Did I see ten years about you guys somewhere? Have you been you together know, for ten know. years? We've been together oh, fourteen years. Come fourteen. April, yeah. right? All right? Oh right, right. yeah. Yes. So this was this was <laughs> job. this was well into your relationship where this yeah. where this all happened. It was. It was actually probably a good eight years, probably into our relationship. Yeah, okay. A lot of times people ask us, they're like, "Oh, so did you guys meet because you were photographers and?" No. We're like, no, we just <laughs> fell into it. Right, right. Yeah, that we're the, we're the same way. Falling into it is 
is extremely accurate. That's a very good way to put it. Yeah. Um, I, I, we were, I was on a panel one time with some husband wife teams. This is what I want to know from you guys. And the question came around like, you know, what is it like to work with your spouse? And we were the last ones to talk and everybody else on there. And then some pretty famous ones, like the people that are really attractive and, <laughs> you know, like you, you, I follow some of them on Instagram and it's like right out of a, you know, Pinterest, it's all Pinterest out, you know? Yeah. Yep. And everyone's like, it's wonderful. And I get to work with my best friend. And, and then it got to my wife and I, and we kind of were like, yeah, it's, it's good, but sometimes it's horrible. That's true. Yeah. You know, like, and we were the only ones. And like, I saw, I saw like a collective sigh of relief from like 70 of the dudes out in the, you know, cause I, cause I feel like everybody was just like, I, this is not how it is for me. You know, with, when everyone's talking unicorns and rainbows the whole time, what, what's it? What's a bad day like for you guys? What's a rough time look like? I don't know. I would say a rough day for me starts out when I go to sit down in my office chair. <laughs> and for some reason, Janie had sat down in it before me. Yeah. And it's about five inches higher than I like to keep it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> and that always starts the day out. Good. There it is. <laughs> so it's definitely not all roses and rainbows. I mean, we're a husband and wife team. As any husband and wife knows, if you're married, there's always going to be some kind right. of conflict at some point. Right. And yeah, that definitely comes through. You know, whether it's in the office, you know, maybe we're frustrated about something or, you know, on a wedding day, you know, I might, you know, be a little Yeah, when it gets a little, gets a little intense, you know, sometimes. Yeah, how, do you, <laughs> how do you handle the intense spots? Because, I mean, you, ha- you have to in order to keep yeah. doing it. You have to have a way to handle that. The- you just have to stay calm and realize it's, it's a, you know, it's a job right. and you don't want to ruin your your marriage over it right. you know like right. let let the small things go right like yeah, that's exactly. good advice yeah especially on a wedding day too right i mean mm-hmm. she might be frustrated at me because i did something or you know never or like you know <laughs> or i might be a little bit frustrated at her um but you always in the back of your mind know this is somebody's wedding day and the right. last thing you're going to do on somebody's wedding day is like get in a fight with your spouse right. that you're working yeah with, right? so <laughs> right. you always keep it cool and right. then right you, you try as best as possible to talk about it like you know, probably not later that night. But well, and don't you later. find that by the time you get to the other side of it, that that issue that seemed so important or so grievous at the time is not near as bad as what you really thought it was. Yep. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Usually it's just the, the stress that comes along with right. the wedding day. You know, right. worried that you're not going to get a particular shot or something right. like that. And once you, like, like you said, after the day's over and you knew like, okay, I didn't mess up somebody's wedding day right. yet again. Right. <laughs> you know? right. We did it. You know, it's like, right. okay, well then that wasn't that big of a deal because they got good pictures. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I appreciate you guys being good sports because I had, I, I just felt compelled to go there a little bit with you guys. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what, tell me about wedding shows. Uh, wedding shows. So we had been doing wedding photography. So after that wedding, we were like, Hey, mm-hmm. let's go ahead and pursue this. Let's be wedding photographers. And I think we threw up a website. And, um, so with, that, left, with that one wedding, with that you one left wedding. jobs, you had jobs and you left uh, well, jobs or Janie was, took this on as like a full-time job. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was still working a full-time job. Mm-hmm. So it was more like, okay, let's start pursuing this. Took right. those images from that wedding, started creating a portfolio, put a website up there through word of mouth. And then somehow people stumbling upon that website because right. we weren't doing SEO at the time. <laughs> right. <was> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up shooting like four more weddings that year. Okay. Yeah, um, I can't believe people trusted us. It was yeah. like, here's our one wedding. Hire yeah. us. <laughs> yeah. I think one couple even met with us. It was like within the first 10 weddings, they were like, well, wedding photography is really important with us. So we want a really good photographer. And like at the time, we're like, oh yeah, totally. I understand. <laughs> you're like, that's that. us. Yeah. yeah that's and us. looking that's back now, I'm it. like, well, those people were, we were very, We were very <laughs> confident. <laughs> you did a good job at marketing yourself. Apparently. Yep. That's how I would put it. So we did like five weddings the first year, five weddings, I think the next year. And we were doing it as a business, but we weren't really growing. Yeah. Um, and so we kind of talked about it. We had always thrown around the idea of doing bridal shows. Um, and we we're finally, we're both the type of people who are like, you know what, we have to set a goal for ourselves, or mm. we'll, we'll always talk about it and never do right. it. So we said, hey, okay, what's the next bridal show that's going to be in our Washington DC area and just book it. You know, we don't have a booth, we don't have albums, we don't have anything, <laughs> but if we just book it, we'll know, we'll make ourselves do all yeah, these things. Yeah, I get and it. So that's how it started. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we went ahead and booked a date and 
figured out how to build a booth and Janie was, you know, put together a few albums. And yeah, Steve did a lot of online research on the booth and I thought he's always like a go big or go home guy. Yes. And so he's like, I'm, I'm like, I see, you know, you look, go, I've been to different kinds of trade shows. I'm like, Oh, we'll just use the table and, <laughs> you know, throw a couple albums out and yeah. some photos on an easel. It'll be, you know, it'll all be good. And he's like, so I'm building this kind of room thing. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and so, you're ha- are you handy like that? I mean, I'm not unhandy. Okay. Uh, like, right. you don't, you don't want, answer. You don't want me <laughs> yeah. to build you a house right. or, you know, or a garage right. or anything right. like that. But you can build a booth. Yeah. Um, but I could probably throw some get together some two by fours mm-hmm. and a couple sheets of plywood and mm-hmm. it, it hasn't fallen, fallen down. In like no, years, no. So. We've, we've used the same, the same setup for four years, gone through painting it and different stuff. But yeah, we, he built this and, little half room and yeah. it's like even, 10 by 10 and right. threw it together in a garage and painted it and, um, it really worked out well because it was our first bridal show and we didn't know what we were doing, but we looked very professional. <laughs> yes. And, which, which helped us Once out Once again, you pulled that off. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. we did. And we were strangely confident. Like, yeah, yeah, very we've cool. only shot 11 weddings, but hire us. Right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Well, we, that, you think that in your mind. That, that's not how you lead, though, right? I'm assuming like you, you're talking to these people as if you are the bomb. Yeah, right? we were. We were. We, right. that's how we but were we weren't the bomb, them. but we, we were, were talking Yeah, we to were them. talking to them like that. Yeah. Right. So we ended up booking seven, seven, right? And people were like... At the show. Yeah, at the show. And they're like... Well, not at the show, but from that show. From, from that, that show. show. Sure, right, right. And right. people were like, well, we only book like three from this show. Right. It was, yeah, it was... We had no expectations. But I think, like you said, a lot of it was confident comes across a lot as a as a photographer. Now, nobody wants to hire a photographer that's not sure if they can give you good wedding pictures or not. <laughs> Definitely right? not for weddings. Um, they right. want yeah. to be very, feel right. very confident that you are going to give them a very good product. Um, and so as we were honest with people uh, that we weren't like experts, that we, I think, I think we had told them about how many we had done, but yeah, because people we, would ask. I think what really helped us is that we showed our excitement. We were very confident about you mm. know our pictures. We did the ones that we were displaying. We liked them, um, but we are very passionate about wedding photography. And what we found, and it still holds true today, is couples are looking for people that are very confident and passionate about what they do. Right, and that's a big part of why they will choose a photographer. How do you before that though, like at a show, what do you guys do like you said you built the room and i'm assuming that that was a piece that drew people that drew draw people in initially yes that would get them in to talk to us so that was a big that was that's a big piece of your of the experience that you offer or the or the or what you portray at a show is that you've actually built that room but so that something like that separates you yes exactly and that was our thought process was we have not, we hadn't done a show before, yeah. but I had, we went to at least one bridal show and we didn't yes. pretend to be couples or anything like that. We just kind of kept our mouth shut and walked around just to right. look at what are people doing booth wise. Right. Um, and what is the show even like? Yeah. What's the show yeah. even like? So one thing I knew was if I go a little bit big on the booth, I'll probably at least stand out from other photographers right. and get people in. Right. So, which is why I kind of, you know, Bought, went to Lowe's, bought some lumber, and threw together a booth just so I looked very good and what people would want to at least approach us. Well, and that's a big part of the battle, right? Oh, just of course. getting just, them in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because at a bridal show, you'll see, a lot of times, depending on how the bridal show is set up, you'll, you'll see other photographers' booth from your booth location. Right, right. And so you kind of watch couples, because some couples already have a photographer, so they're not going to talk to you no matter what. Um but if you see a couple stop at like two or three other mm-hmm. photographers' booths, then you mm-hmm. know, well, they must be in the market. Yeah. And so when they walk by yours and if they don't stop, you're kind of dejected. And you're like, well, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> other, what sort of other strategies have you implemented or do you implement at a show to separate yourselves from other photographers? Well, one of the other things we've done is always had an image that is impactful or will draw people in. Our first show, we had this image that Steve took at an engagement session, and um, it was a couple standing out in the water surrounded by shark fins, and everybody thought it was photoshopped, and it wasn't. Steve had actually made the shark fins out of plywood, got waders on, (laughs) went into the water. So we had this whole story behind it, and what we found was when people came into the booth 
and started looking at they they'd look at the they'd look at it really really close like they were trying to figure out how we photoshopped this right and we could come up to them and be like that's not photoshop this is what we did and this is how dedicated we are to because at bride we don't just put shark fins for any uh (laughs) any couple she loves shark week so getting to know our couples talking to them we were able to say look we knew this couple, we knew she loved Shark Week. We did this for her because we care about your images. Who doesn't and- book you after <laughs> that? You know what? It might now that I think about it, it just that shark picture might have been what booked us. <laughs> it probably, it probably it was, was a good talking point. It, it drew people in, and it gave us a, a, a chance to talk about how passionate we were. And you know, this is what we'll do for you. I love it. So, and it's a soft sell. Yeah. Right, like you're yeah. not, you're not, you don't have to beat somebody over the head with that sort of information because the experience is right there on the image, and you explain to them that I, I like the Photoshop piece too because of course you're just going to make that assumption right on on sure. first glance. Yeah, but that to find out that you guys went to the effort um, to not only get to know them but then to carry that out. I mean, what's going through their mind is like, oh, what, what are the possibilities? What what could they do for me, or what would they be willing to do? For me, right? Sure. Yes. Yeah. So it, it I'm signing. I'm signing on the dotted line, right? <laughs> I think we need to bring that picture back I know, out. We need to bring the shark picture back out. <laughs> so, sh- so wedding shows for you are they're a big they're a big part of your marketing plan. I'm assuming, like throughout they the are. year, they are. They um, as we've been in the business longer and we get more referrals from the couple, the client base that we've you know started, we get a lot of referrals from those bridal shows, sure. um, the bridal show couples. Um, and also different planners, photographers, we don't need to fill as many dates. So we don't do like when we first started out, we were doing about five bridal shows a year. That's what I was going to, that was my yeah. next question. Like how many do you so do? So now we do about two Okay. and that's just to fill it, to fill in those dates that, that are left. And how, do, okay. So how do you determine which ones to do? If there's, if you have five or six options, how do you choose the two? Is it just based on time that you have free or, or have you gotten to the point where you're like, these shows are this is the show that we need to go to type of thing. Well, since we started doing the shows, I've kept the data from each show. So how much we've spent on each show, mm. depending on if we're changing out prints or, you know, sometimes we don't change anything out. It doesn't cost us more than, you know, the truck rental to get all of to our stuff. To go to the, the next show. show. Yeah. To right. go to the, so I keep track of all that. And then also the statistics on which shows have yielded the best results. Mm -hmm. There are some shows that are at the same location two different times a year, but for some reason, the the spring show is better than the the fall show. And we've learned that over the years. And I can go back over my spreadsheets and be like, now I know these are the shows I want to do. So take notes. Yes, take notes. notes. Refer to notes. Yes, and I even keep track of uh, like how many uh, the referrals that have come down the road from the couples that have hired us from those wedding shows. Cause I feel like that is still part of the, so you're the keeping data. all of that. Yes. Data. <laughs> Talk about that a little bit. I like that because referrals are so powerful. They right? are. They're, Definitely. they're very powerful. And so you, how do you do, how do you do that? What does that look like? I use on- right now. I'm using an air table spreadsheet to put all the, okay. the information in so then I can go back and, so everything's kind it. of tracked and it yes. has, a, it has a trail of sorts. It does. It does. And at this point we really don't, because we've been doing the same five shows in our area, I don't really need to track the results anymore, but I like tracking the results. You just enjoy it. We know, yeah, we know which ones are the are the good ones every year now because this is our fourth year um, doing the bridal shows. Do you offer any incentives for referrals or is this completely organic and you're just keeping track? It's completely organic. No, no incentives. No, no, no incentives. incentives. You don't it's- need to apparently. What we found is when people really love the experience they had of... Like if you're a really good photographer and you gave a couple a really great experience on the yeah. wedding day and they love their wedding photos, yep. they just naturally want to tell their friends and share that information. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's like us when we hear a song and we love a band, right? Right. Like we just, the band doesn't have to give us something right. to tell other people. We <laughs> yeah. just naturally go out and you like, You want oh my people gosh. to know about that because yeah. It, yeah, exactly. it brought you joy. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's just an innate thing that we have inside of us that we want to tell other people about the good experiences we had. I love it. Yeah. I love So what sort of advice do you have for people... Let's say I, let's say I've never been to a wedding show and I, and I, and I'm shooting some weddings and maybe I'm doing it on the side, you know, maybe I'm a weekend warrior, so to speak. Right. What sort of advice do you have for me? For you, the first thing, if you want to, uh, start going to bridal shows, go to a show, 
but don't pretend you're a couple. Don't pretend you're, you know, somebody that's, we've had that happen. It's not, it's not fun when you find out, oh, that person that gave us all this information actually is a photographer. So go like a spy. Yeah. Like a spy. It's like, you don't have to be a, a you don't have to be a spy. I've had, you know, we went and scoped out shows, didn't bother any vendors. Um, but just to see which shows were the so best. So you're observing. Yes, I'm observing. Yes. Like, so not a lot of interaction. And if you no. do interact, be upfront. Like we've had couples in the DC area. Um, one that I remember came up to us and it was a photography very couple. Hey, just so you know, we're not a couple. We're photographers. We just moved to the area trying to educate ourselves. And we actually striked up a conversation, became friends, pointed them to our local DC photography group. And we still interact online and, you know, yeah. created a friendship. That is refreshing. Yeah. Yep. So, so yeah, go to the shows, do your research, um, do your research and see how do the shows, if you're doing, um, we like to do the bigger shows, more brides, more traffic. Mm -hmm. Um, how do they market the show? How are they getting the brides in? What's the average, um, show total for people that are actually coming to the show? Do they give a full list of... Are you getting those stats from the organizers beforehand? Like, how do you... Like you're going to whoever organizes the show, can you get the information before the you organizer? Take part? The organizer for our show, um, he actually puts on all five in our area. He is very upfront about his stats with us okay. and and telling us where he's um, where he's advertising, how he's. It seems getting to me like he's there. the type of guy that you want to form a decent relationship with if he's putting on all five shows. Yes, and we have. Exactly. He's a. Right. He's, he's a, a great really, guy. Yeah, he, he keeps track. Guy. He advertises on TV. So you know the money he's getting from the vendors that are going to be at his booth. He's reinvesting to get right. brides in the door. That's, um, that's good. Yes. So it's great. And But there are other smaller bridal shows that we've heard you know negative things about. And mm -hmm. we just usually stay away from those. Sure. Because you try to do your research and you find, you know, if a vendor does a show and they're like, okay, it cost me X amount of dollars for a booth, but the foot traffic was very slow. The, there wasn't a good return on investment. Right. Uh, you kind of stay away from those. So that's the other piece that, that's coming to my mind regarding shows um, is the networking opportunities that you have with other vendors. Is that a, is that a thing? Definitely. It is. It is. We've networked with planners. We've actually networked with other photographers too. We don't see it when we walk into a bridal show. I don't look around at going, oh, that's, I mean, they are our competition, but I can only shoot so many weddings a year. Right. So forming friendships with other photographers that have a similar style that you can refer to. Yeah. Um, some of the shows we go to, we find our friends and we go, hey, if we're booked on this date, we're going to send. We know and trust you. We're going to send them to you. We guys. can send them to you guys. So you give them the you give them the heads up and and maybe hope that they'll do the same. Yes. Yes. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. And that usually happens. Almost every show now we'll do that. We'll reach out to our friends at, at that are at the show, and then we'll get two or three couples. And it's either sometimes us walking them to the booth so we know the couple goes right. there with them, right. or vice versa. That's a good. I like that little piece. That's that's like one of those little things. But it makes a lot of sense because then you know that you're actually making that connection. Plus, the photographer sees you doing that as well, which probably helps and incentivizes yeah. Yeah. them to do the same yep. for you. Exactly. I like and that. And just from a marketing standpoint, um, we buy based off referrals the most. So if right. somebody word of mouth says something is really good, we're more likely to buy. Of course. So if another photographer is recommending another photographer, they're more likely to book that photographer. And so do you foresee... Like this, this is like part of your, this is a big part of your business and something that you're going to continue to use moving forward. Or is it something that, oh, this was a boost for the first few years of our business and we'll probably gravitate away from doing a lot of wedding shows? Um, I would say in our experience, bridal shows are fantastic when you are priced right in your median point for your okay. market. Um, you'll do very, very well. Mm -hmm. As, if you start gravitating and moving towards the luxury market, yeah. you'll have less luxury brides at the shows. Okay. Um, so what we're finding is we don't do as many a year. We still do a couple. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is we still do books. So every show we've ever done is profitable. So we've never lost money. Um, but then in addition to that, just having your name and your business name out in front of right. that many brides, because right. they might not book you at a wedding show, but then they might find you later on if your SEO is really good on Google. Right. And they not, so they'll have seen you at a show. Now they're seeing you on Google. Maybe they've stumbled upon your website. The more places a couple of senior work in your name, the more likely they are to book. Well, then are you getting um, more of the luxury brides from referrals then? Like if that, if you're not going to get someone like that from a show, do those 
typically come from referrals? For us, they typically typically come from referrals and then also um, Google. We've worked a lot on our SEO. Right. So yeah, you said that, that has SEO been... is super important. Yes. <laughs> super important. Right. I mean, it's the modern day yellow pages. Right. Yeah. It really is. Right. Right. But, but it seems to me that then it, it's more incentive also for you to do some shows still because you're getting referrals from the shows. Exactly. So like Janie was saying a little bit earlier, we kind of keep track of how many weddings we've booked per show, but mm-hmm. then going forward, like I think even still recently, we're we're getting inquiries and I'm like, oh, I'm friends with so-and-so and it's a wedding that we shot a couple of years ago and we booked them at one of our first shows. Right. Or, so and somebody could say like, I couldn't, I could not afford these guys, they're, they're, but they're fantastic and their sister's getting married or yeah. one of their best friends is getting married. You should really check them out, you know, and then you, get, you can get a job that way. Yeah. All those things. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah it's great. So you can't, you can't t- do a bar- bridal show and say, well, I only booked two. It was a bad show. You never ultimately know how good a show was until a couple of years down the road. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. I've booked, we've booked weddings more than a year after a bridal show. Some of these brides are coming through and especially Way as you're doing, front. yeah, as yeah. you're doing, like we have um, a lot of January shows in our area. Mm-hmm. So when you do those shows, one of them typically is like the week or so after Christmas, you have those holiday engagements. They <laughs> yeah. don't even have a venue yet. They come up and they're yeah. so, they're one of, we always try to, we don't want to waste any couple's time. So, you know, do a little introduction and then we ask them, when is your wedding? Mm-hmm. Because we don't want to talk to them for 15 minutes and then find out, well, we're booked for your date. So I'm sorry, I wasted your time. They're you wanna, there for a purpose. That's a good point. You want to you know, know right away. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> So anyway, uh, man, I yeah. lost my. So that's our it. philosophy anyway. Yeah. So that is one of the first questions that we ask. <clears throat> yeah. That, that that leads me to my next line of questioning is tips, like when what sort of what sort of tips do you have for people? You're in the moment. That's because that's a great one. Right away, when are you? When's your date? Yes. Because yep. if you're booked, like September 18th, you're good. But maybe September yeah. 25th, you're not. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we've heard we've heard other photographers do. Uh, say contrary that they don't like leading with that and that's fine you know every different things work for different well people. and there's also different ways of leading with that right yeah you yes. don't want to grab them by the shoulders and say when is your date yeah yeah right but there's ways of there's yes. ways for of getting that information yeah exactly for us it's a way to break the ice hey thanks for stopping by you know congratulate when's your big day and then yes it, perfect yep and yeah. then from there, we can go like they'll be like, "Oh, October nineteenth, and be, I can look at Jane and Hey, Jane, are we booked? Tonight? October nineteenth? <laughs> no, but we're little... booked. But we're booked on the twentieth. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then, and then That's I kind of so go awesome. from there. <laughs> but that that is a great way, and you, and you're communicating by maybe even just looking, and then you know that hey, we need to we need to shut this down, or we need to yeah, you know, because yeah. there's somebody coming up right behind these guys that we want to engage exactly. with. Exactly, right? that happens a lot of times too. Sure. You have people that are waiting to talk to you. Right. So, well, if for example we are booked, like, oh, I'm so sorry, we're actually booked for that day, but yeah. hey, let me refer you. The to referral happens then. Referral, sure. Yeah. You know, a couple of hours down, they're really Perfect. great. We love their photography. Perfect. What What other tips? Anything else? Um, be yourself. Be personable. Yeah. Um, one of the other big reasons. So. Reasons a couple will book a photographer for their wedding day. A, they love the pictures. You know, right. they, they have to look at your work and picture themselves in the pictures that they're sure. seeing and be like, okay, I want my wedding day and pictures to look like this. Right. Um, but going along with that is also, I, this person, this photographer is going to be with me from me getting ready, my hair, right. makeup done, seeing me at my worst, right. to spending all day with me to the right. very end. And they want to make sure that they click personality wise. Mm-hmm. So, be yourself, right? You know, and just have a good rapport, and that's what we find works really well. Right. Yeah, and then also find out how your show like a lot of our show gives us a um, at the end an email list with not just emails. It gives us uh, phone numbers and address if you want to do the old fashioned mail thing. Right. But what we find is having a way to capture leads right then and there, people that are more than interested you spend 10 minutes talking to them Mm -hmm. they're you know you can't tell from that list who that person was the the big list from the show but you write that down and as i a lot of times if i um a lot of couples the shows we we go to a lot of couples come through so as we get there we ask we we just have do it old fashioned clipboard you know Ask for your name. What's your name? What's yeah, your some people venue, some people do date? iPad capture. You know, whatever works best for you. I like pen and paper. And are you um, writing down like if you're having a conversation with somebody that's going well, 
Are you writing down notes on your clipboard? I am like, actually. After they after they walk away, mm-hmm. I'll just make like a little notation if there's something that we talked about. Maybe you know they were I've, there with their mom, maybe I've, uh, or something personable. Or yeah, like a, a <laughs> memorable about them. I've connected on my love of Chipotle with couples before, and they've actually ended up booking us. <laughs> well, that's and that's but the that's, thing, right? Yeah, yeah. And people think I feel like some people would dismiss that as insignificant, but it is not. No, not at all. No, it's because not. people love it when you remember something like. Like that Definitely. right yes. and you're you're writing it down so that it's easy to remember something like that because there it is even yes. if it's something as seemingly insignificant as that i feel like using that as that connection piece later on in the process right because yeah. if you're writing a note about somebody and you're saying like hey these are these are this is a really high probability of a decent prospect for a client then are are you specifically following up with them like not part of the email list that you're getting from the the wedding uh, coordinator the, the the event coordinator but are you making an effort to follow up with them specifically other than other than that I am what I do after the show is well what we both do we personally email each couple so that once came we get to you the the ones that the leads that we captured right. in our booth right. yeah we should actually so, probably talk about that so the bridal shows that we do we know that they are going to give us a list of every single person that exactly. attended the show right but we. It comes out on Wednesday, though. Yeah, we get that list, and we will use it, but we want our own list. I want the ones that came to our booth right. and were interested yes. in us. So yes. the way that we do that is we found out really early on, people always ask you your pricing. Mm-hmm. You know, how much do you cost? Because in a wedding show, there's going to be everybody that's, that's really, really goes, cheap right? to really expensive. Mm-hmm. So what we found is instead of printing out like a sheet and saying, hey, here's our list, and it goes in the bag, the free and then bag it goes from in a bag. the tuxedo company. <laughs> we actually purposely do not give out our pricing. We'll tell them verbally what it is, but we know people won't remember. Mm-hmm. So we'll use that as an opportunity to gather their information. We'll say, hey, this is our pricing. But if you like, I would actually email you this information. And they'll say, oh, my goodness, yes, I, I want this information. And I just give them a clipboard. Here's your name, I like email that. address. Yeah, I like that. And That's fantastic. That night or the very next morning, we'll go through and email all, all of those people before you list. even have the list from yes the because the lead organized. list exactly. the, the lead list comes out the Wednesday after the right. show so we know on Wednesday when mm-hmm. that drops mm-hmm. there are going to be people that are just going to send out like mass, mass emails. All emails the form emails right? yes exactly. all the form mm-hmm. emails so we take that time to get that, in there first that night and the next day to get in there first that get night that email. even you're on yeah. top of it it makes yeah. sense uh, most times it is that night we'll usually split the list up we'll right. usually get probably about four to five sheets per wedding show so we'll so, sit there's down. Ten, so it's about 50 usually about 40 to 50 good quality leads well yep. and as i i feel like if i'm coming through and then i get home and that it happens and and i'm coming off the wedding show high so to speak as, as a client and i see that i have an email from you guys already in my mind i'm thinking these guys are on top of it that's the and hope. you also <laughs> want a wedding photographer that is on top of things yes too, right yes yeah for sure i like it there's always the horror stories about the <laughs> the brides and grooms that have tried to get a hold of X vendor, whatever yeah, vendor yeah. it is, and it's been weeks and weeks. So yeah. we try to just let that be part of our thing because we'll tell couples we try to be really very responsive within sure. 24 hours getting back to you. Yeah. And so yeah, we try to start it off strong with right after the bridal show, boom, you know. The the, the horror stories that I associate so much with with weddings are the non-responsiveness of the photographer. It's been weeks and I still haven't heard about this, that, or the other thing. And I think that that can, that, that kind of like sits with people. Like they almost expect that from, from photographers sometimes like, Oh, I'm not going to hear like, when am I going to hear back? Or when am I, when's this going to be done? And once I feel like if you can be on top of it, especially initially that that sets such a great impression for, for your clients. And as they're weeding through, who are they going to use or who are they potentially going to, to, to book with? Um, that 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 in and of itself could set you apart. It's actually kind of amazing because you really see that too. Like when we yeah. res- respond to people really quickly, they can't they're believe so it. They're so appreciative. I, they're like, oh my goodness, thank you so much for right. getting back with us. And, <laughs> exactly. And we're kind of thinking, wasn't well, that like what everybody should be but, doing? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is what everybody should be doing. But I I feel pretty strongly that it's that it's probably on the on the rare. Like you guys are probably the anomaly 
Which is all the more reason to do it. Right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. want to, you know, we know that eventually they are going to be inundated with emails, like you said. Yeah. So come Wednesday, it's noise. Yeah, we want to be the yeah. first in there. Also, why emails. I like the idea of not giving them a physical piece that they can put in their bag with the rest of the noise. Yes. Yeah, because otherwise we're waiting for them to contact us. Hey, I want, want a that. reason for me to be able to reach out to that's them legitimately. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's a that's such a great idea. Well, uh, where can people find you guys? Like, they're listening and they want to know how I want to know more about these guys. You can find us at www.steveandjane.com. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And on Instagram, we are photos by Steve and Jane. Mm-hmm. And Facebook under photography by Steve and Jane. Fantastic. Yep. Well, everyone that's listening, go out and check these guys out. I can, I can tell you from experience that they are really fun and cool to hang out with. And you guys, thanks for giving me your time today. Yeah, no Thank problem. you yeah, so thanks much. Thanks for having us. It was, good it was luck. Great. Good it. luck at the shows for 2018 and beyond. Yep. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah.